Hello everyone, it's Rob here. Just with a very quick message before your video starts, I just wanted to remind you that the Draw With Rob activity book is out now. You can get it right now. And if you like these videos, I think you'll really like this book. It's full of lots of the draw alongs of your favorite characters um, and then loads of other stuff like puzzles, um, coloring pages. There's bits where I've started a drawing off and you need to finish it. There's even um, a nice certificate for you at the end if you complete all the activities in this book um, and you can fill in. There's a page which you have to write all about yourself, your favorite things and draw a self portrait, that kind of thing. So I think you'll really like it. Okay, that's enough for me. You need to watch your video. Here it is, your Draw With Rob video. Have fun. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Draw With Rob. With me, Rob Biddulph. There I am. On the back of the Draw With Rob activity book, have you got your copy yet? I think you'll like this book, you should check it out now. I am a children's author and illustrator. You might know me from books like this one. Oh, sorry. I've just sharpened, just sharpened my pencils and I've got a bit of pencil sharpening on that book. That's not very professional, is it? I'm sorry about that, everybody. Please forgive me. But anyway, where was I? You might know me from books like this, Odd Dog Out, about a sausage dog. Doesn't fit in with any of the other sausage dogs. That's one of my most popular books, that one. And what about this one? Dinosaur Juniors, Happy Hatch Day. You might recognize this chap from the very first Draw With Rob video. It's Gregosaurus, and this is the book that tells his story. Now then, we are here today, as per usual, to do a drawing together. Now then, my favorite episodes of Draw With Rob are the ones where I show you how to do the outline of a character or an animal or whatever it is, and then I sort of hand it over to you and you take it on from there and you go off in all sorts of different directions. Everybody does something different when you're coloring it in or adding patterns, that sort of thing. So I was thinking to myself, right, what, what kind of animal can I show, show everybody how to draw that they can then go off and do their own thing with? And I was trying to think of an animal that's kind of covered in different colors or different patterns, that kind of thing. And I was thinking, oh, what, what is, there must be something. And then it struck me, a snake, of course. They are thousands and thousands and thousands of different types of snake out there, aren't they? And they're all color, they're all different colors, different patterns, that sort of thing. So I thought, right, I'm gonna show them how to draw a simple picture of a snake. It's not gonna be that simple. It's not just gonna be a squiggly line across the page. So that would only take me about two minutes. So I thought I should, should do something a little bit more, little bit more complicated than that, but don't worry, it's still very simple. I thought I'd show you how to draw that and then you can go off and you can color them in all sorts of different colors. And that's something I would really, really love to see you do. So that's what we're gonna do. Now then, just in case you haven't seen one of these videos before, this is how it works. Um, <clears throat> lots of people, they tell me they don't think they're very good at drawing, but I say anybody can draw. It's just a question of knowing the order to do the drawing in sometimes. So that's where I come in. I can help you out with that. So I'm gonna start off my drawing on my piece of paper here. Just draw a little tiny bit. Then you can pause the video and then you can draw exactly what I draw. Start me up again. I'll do a bit more. Then you draw, then I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw. And by the end, we're gonna end up with a lovely picture of a snake. Right then, so grab a piece of paper, grab a pen or a pencil, something to draw with, and we'll start, shall we? Right, now then. We are gonna start down at the bottom of our piece of paper today, right at the bottom, and we are gonna draw, draw a nice straight line, sort of in the middle at the bottom of your piece of paper, like that. So what's that, about seven or eight centimeters long, something like that. Okay, now, at the left-hand end of our line, we are gonna draw a curve, like a C shape, like that. Then we are gonna keep going back along like that. So we finish up level with where we started. And that's right, you've guessed it. We are then gonna draw, join up these two ends in a nice curve, exactly the same as the other end. Like that. So a sausage shape at the bottom of our piece of paper. See, told you, nice easy start. Okay, the next thing. We are going to extend this top line. We're just gonna come out a little tiny bit more. Just, just at the left hand end. No, actually, let's do it at both ends. To do a little bit of that end too. 
Then I want you to draw another one of those curves. Same sort of size. And we're gonna go back along like that. And we're gonna curve around at the other end, just like that. Then guess what? On top of that, we are going to draw another curve. This time we're gonna to move it along a little bit, just a little bit like that. We're gonna go back along the top. We're gonna to stop about there, a little bit short, and then we're gonna draw yet another curve. So look, three different size sausages all stacked on top of each other. How's this a snake, Rob? Wait and see. Trust me, it's gonna be a snake. Okay, the next thing to do, we're gonna put our pen towards this end of the top sausage, and we are gonna draw a nice, smooth, sort of reverse S shape like that, coming up out of the middle of our sausage pile. And from the top of that, we're gonna draw a straight line out, so a nice sharp corner at the top of that smooth curvy shape. Then we are gonna curve back around here, and we're gonna head up towards the top of our page, like that. So you might notice I'm using my brush pen, so because the lines of my brush pen are quite thick, I can then go back into them and I can just sort of smooth them out and get them to be exactly the shape that I want to be. That's the nice thing about a brush pen. When you're creating a thick line, you can sort of correct yourself as you go along. Okay, let's go back up to here, to the top. We're gonna come along and we're gonna stop about there. Very slight curve, you can see. Then let's turn back around and we're gonna start heading for home. We're gonna follow the curvy shape that we drew. Look, you can see the snake now starting to take shape, can't you? And there we go. There's our snake's head. So those three sausage shapes that we drew are actually gonna be the coils. You know, snakes, they sort of coil themselves up, don't they? So this is our snake's head emerging from the pile of coils that his body is made up. But i tell you what we're gonna do, we're gonna give him his tail here. So what we are going to do, we're gonna put our, our pen just uh, below halfway on the second sausage in the sausage pile. And we are gonna do another one of those curvy, curvy, yes shape things. Just coming up like that. Smudge, smudge, doofus. Never mind. remember what I say, if you do that, don't worry, keep on drawing. I'll try and think of a way of fixing it a bit later. But if I don't, I don't. We're just gonna leave it there. Okay, the next thing to do is we need, this is gonna be the end of our snake's tail, so it's gonna be nice and thin at the end. And then we're just gonna follow the curve back round, but we're just gonna go back. It's gonna gradually get sort of fatter so it gets up to the same thickness as the rest of his body. There we go. And that's pretty much the outline of our snake. Done. Okay, let's wake the snake up, shall we? We are gonna draw a nice big eye. Yeah, so just sort of above the corner area here. We wanna leave a little bit of space above. So we don't wanna go right to the top of his head. Just like that. And let's give him a pupil. Remember my little trick? You don't do it right in the center. This time, because he's looking left, you do the pupil slightly to the right of center. It will make our snake look straight at the camera. Let's, remember I said to leave a little gap up here, that's so we can just add a little eyebrow. Friendly little snake. Let's give him a couple of nostrils. Now snakes, they have sort of slits, don't they? So we're just gonna add two little straight lines like that. And they're gonna be our snake's nostrils. And the very last thing to do on our snake outline is one of the most famous parts of a snake. That's right, their little tongues. Their little tongues come out, don't they? Like that. And the key thing about a snake's tongue is it's forked. So let's just draw a little line coming out, slight angle, like that. Then we're gonna add a sort of arrow shape at the end, like that. And then we're gonna join it back up. I'm gonna make it get slightly thinner towards the end, like that, so it's just like a little snake's tongue poking out. 
Lovely. So this is a nice simple one today, isn't it? That didn't take very long, did it, just to do that outline. So that means we've got a little bit more time than we might usually have for the colouring part of this drawing. And don't worry if you haven't got any coloured pencils to hand, you can still do some lovely patterns with whatever you've used to draw the outline with, can't you? You can do some nice zigzags, or maybe you can do some stripes, or some spots, or some stars, whatever you like. I mean, I, I, I would be very surprised if I don't get a few rainbow snakes, to be honest. I think some of you might like to do rainbow snakes, which is fine by me, I love a rainbow. So, if you have got colours, brilliant, go for it. Stripes, patterns, anything you like. I'm going to colour mine in. Um, let me think, I'll have a think. Wait and see, wait and see what I do. I don't know yet, I'm just going to make it up as I go. Um, and uh, then I'll be back here in about 30 seconds, a minute, something like that, because I'm going to go into super speed mode. So get your pencils ready, and let's start colouring, shall we? Here we go, three, two, one, go. go there's my finished snake I've gone for orange and purple and black and white stripes all over now did you see I added right at the beginning I decided to add sometimes snakes they have this sort of like on their sort of tummy areas if you like on their sort of lower half they have a slightly different kind of texture and so I thought I'd just add that in in a slightly different color um, so I, I think that's in my mind that's the bit that they kind of slither on so I added that but you don't have to add that you don't have to have done that if you could you could have just made your snake just covered in patterns that was fine so I just went for these particular patterns here I've added a few little bits and bits of line sort of stuff here down sort of underneath the various coils sometimes I think and sort of in there as well and I think that just helps to separate the layers a little bit it's almost like a little bit of kind of shadow so I've just added a few little bits and pieces here and there and then to cover up my left-handed smudgingness I just did a very quick blue background just behind my whole picture so listen let's not forget to sign our picture I'm gonna put my name down here Rob. So make sure you sign your works of art so everybody knows who's created them and then it would be great if you could get somebody to take a picture of your picture and then you can post it on social media using the hashtag DrawWithRob. Or if you're watching this on Facebook, you can add your drawing in the comments underneath. That would be great because I really, really love to see all your pictures and then who knows, maybe it'll make the grid of snakes at the end of the day. Now then. I hope you've enjoyed this one. It's been quite a nice, easy one, I think, this week. Easier than some of our previous ones. So I hope you've had fun doing that. I can't wait to see your multicolored snakes. It's been really, really excited. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget, press that subscribe button down there and tell all your friends about it. And now listen, I'm gonna be back very soon for another Draw With Rob video. In the meantime, take care of yourselves, everyone, okay? Good, it's a deal. See you later.